What's up guys? How you doing there? It's Angry Roleplayer here and it's the third part of my big trance guide. We already know how to where the basic trance comes from and how it scales and what is the gear, the most important gear for the trance skills. And now let's talk about the trance skills themselves. What are the trance skills in this game? How do they scale? How do they work? What's the difference with their skills? And the first thing that I want uh, to say, I want to talk about the consecration, guys. The consecration. Consecration is rather interesting skill in this game. Uh, not only it's a healing spell, but it can, can also do damage. And basically what a consecration battle nails read is, is the consecrated ground becomes with covered in nails and enemies that walk into the area we receive a uh, hundred of your taunts damage every second. What it means is, and it lasts for 10 seconds, what it means is that basically it's a damage over time skill. It's not an, only an instant damage like you know when you cast something and what cast it, you know lightning or a fireball or something like this. It's a, a damage over time, it's called a dot in this, uh, in this game. So basically, for example, if the skill does something like 2000 damage in 12 seconds, it's a damage over time skill. Uh, but, you know, the, the damage over time skill, they work really differently, they work uh, unique in this game. And I will show you exactly what a how, how consecration work in this game, guys. How consecration work in this game. Like for example, see I casting consecration here and there's one mob here, just one mob. This is the reflected damage, it's always the same, it's always the same, the same amount. And here is the first tick. The damage over time spells, they show us the ticks and uh, it's not uh, necessary to displace the damage every second. In fact, the ticks, they are kind of show the damage below one second because they have internal calculation timings and the animation of skills is very different. For example, the numbers that, that the consecration skill shows, it's a, a mix of turns damage done in 0.8 seconds, so it's 800 milliseconds tick and the area damage base of the tick as well, you know, if it happened, if I have many mobs around. So basically what, what it reflect, what it shows, it, it shows, it calculates damage periodically and as you can see this is 90, 98 here already, this was, it was 76 the first tick was 76 and the second was 98 that's the second tick it's the third tick it's and it's the full actually the full damage guys it's a full damage see the full damage the 100% damage of consecration that should be 148 48k that should be the full tick the full tick and here goes, it's another tick, it's another tick. And here, you see the tick became lower. That's because the mob, he moved out of the area in consecration here. The area ends here and he, and he left the area for you know, a couple of milliseconds maybe because that's a really fast mob. But the game still needs to, sh to calculate and show us some damage. But he was not a hundred percent of time, you know, for this short uh, p period of uh, eight hundred eight uh, eight uh, hundred milliseconds. He was not this all this time in this area. So, but he most of the time he, he like, was like no sixty percent time on in this area. So the game must calculate something and show us that why the, this number is different than the previous one. See this, he moves in and back in the area of consecration. And here goes the same tick, the same tick. 
See, that's the same one. And here is the full one because he already stayed for almost a second here in the in the area. The area. Here is the f the another full one. Here is the reflected damage, and here is the tick as well. Here is another one, and he moved out completely, as you can see. He completely moved out of the area. Here is the area of consecration. Yeah, he comes back, but the tick is lower already because he comes back, and it's much lower because the consecration fades out already. Fades out. See, that was the last tick consecration completely fade, fade, faded out. It completely ended. So basically, the game calculates the damage over time ticks all the time, and uh, what you see here, it's not. It doesn't display it, you know. Uh, it can be, it can, uh, can not display it all the time. Uh, uh, and consecration ticks for about 11 to 13 times per 10 seconds, so it's not even constant, you know. And when the mob moves in, in, in and out of the area, that's why uh, how, why the ticks they show different damage, different damage number. Overall, the skill does a thousand of trans damage in 10 seconds in consecrated area. And I can say that overall the uh, damage over time is quite complicated, it's very different for every skill. And for understanding it's really hard to understand. And even when you spend a lot of time calculating shit like me, it's pretty, you know, still a little mysterious at, at times. And I won't bore you, bore you down with all the details, but I, I'd like to tell you that overall it's enough to understand that it shows that amount of damage that the skill shows. For example, the skill shows 100% of tones damage every second. And overall, it's easier to consider this damage as an average damage per second. And that's exactly what it shows us if, you, if we summarize all these ticks and then divide them into 10. For example, this lasts for 10 seconds. And this will be around that 100 second, second of your tones damage every time. So that's how you understand the damage over time in this game. Another interesting st uh, skill that I want uh, to talk about is the second skill and it's the Stitch Shard Spike Burning, guys. This is also a pure tone skill in this game and it's also kind of weird damage over time as well. Let's take a look. Uh, so you... Uh, you deal your damage when you ride in a, or on a horse through your enemies and the war horse deals 500 of your trolls damage every second to enemies through which you ride and you ride for 2 seconds. Let's take a look at the skill in slow motion guys. It's pretty cool actually, it's pretty interesting. Let's take a look in slow more. That was reflected damage, by the way. See, that's the that's the tick, the ticks of uh, the spike burning. And as you can see, guys, as you can see, uh, see, uh, the spike burning it should do 741, 41k damage. But this damage, it sh it ca it should be done in uh, in one second, every second, every second, every second. It should do a 741k damage. But what you see here, what we see here, guys, is this 185k. That's because these ticks are calc are shown us one quarter of a second one quarter of a second so basically if i multiply this number by four i will get exactly 741k so the consecration they show us a tick every eight milliseconds and spike burning is show us the ticks every 250 milliseconds so basically one quarter of a second we see this tick. This tick is constant, by the way. It doesn't change 
when the mobs moving in and out because this uh, the skill is not has no uh, no kind of area and no kind of area like their consecration so it's these ticks are constant it's so much easier to calculate these ones but the number you see here see that number 82 and 700 this is the area damage of this area damage I would like to say that absolutely every every skill with turns is prox area damage and this skill is no exception I have 50% exactly 50% area damage on my character and as you can see this it also proc the area damage from this that so basically each tick it also can proc a 50% of area damage and for four second for for a second uh, if I charge one mob exactly uh, he will get four of these sticks and he will get full 500% of my tons damage per second I can also say that this skill uh, is very powerful 500% of tons damage per second it's the law it's a lot it's a lot of damage it's a lot of damage and it shouldn't be underestimated guys it's very significant amount of damage in the legacy of nightmares bombardment uh, bombardment build and any turns heavy build as well like the normal fever account build when you run for the enemies it's very important also don't forget also that you run for two seconds and the damage you see here it is done in one second so basically with two seconds if we run through the enemies we need to multiply it by two so in two seconds we do a thousand of our taunts damage uh, in two seconds uh, and for example if you use uh, if you use the, our swift mount it's a legendary flare which doubles the duration of steel charge like it is used in the Legacy of Nightmares bombardment build. So basically it doubles our run and uh, we run for 4 seconds and for this 4 seconds guys, for this 4 seconds we do 2000 of our tons damage. So this, this basically is can be multiplied by 4 because it's damage for 1 second. So for 4 seconds we deal 2000 of our tons damage, that's a lot, that's a lot guys. So that's a very important and that's a very huge amount of tons damage, it's very powerful. And the third skill that I want to talk about is of course the bombardment, barrel of spikes guys, the barrels of spikes. Let's take a look, let's take a look. And it's another nice skill that is uh, very important for any Tron's build guys. It's quite unique too. A barrel of spikes unleashes 5 barrels, uh, each dealing 2850% of total weapon damage in, tw in uh, 12 yards of impact zone. But the barrel of spikes, it reads in, uh, like this. Damage of each barrel is increased by 2200 of your tons damage. The barrels fall for 2 seconds and it means you do a thousand of your tons damage in 2 seconds because the 5 barrels <laughs> fall. Usually this skill is paired with the belt of the Trovem. Uh, because it basically, you know, it's kind of automatically cast the bombs on nearby enemies uh, Every every six to eight seconds it casts enemies on it casts bombs on nearby enemies And it also usually paired with the mortal drama which just basically You know doubles the amount of bombs that fall and instead of five bombs we get ten bombs Mortal drama is usually cubed as a legendary power uh, and also, if you put both the Mortal Drama and the Belt of the Trove on you, so the Mortal Drama also doubles the bombs that fall from the Belt of the Trove as well. So basically, you get like four times more bombs. Four times more bombs for this, guys. 
I would also like to mention that when you equip your Bell of the Trower, it uses the skill from your skill bar. So it's very important to equip a skill on your skill bar because if you just, you know, equip the belt and rem uh, remove this skill from your skill bar, he will he will be casting this uh, this bombardment with just the basic rune, but not the tones rune. So the belt takes the skill from the skill bar. That's also very important to understand and to remember as well. Now, what about the bombardment, guys? With Mortal Drama, you have 10 bombs in total. And uh, as you can see, uh, and they all, and five bombs drop for two seconds, for two seconds and 10 bombs they fall for 4 seconds so basically you do 2000 of your taunts damage for 4 seconds with just the barrel spikes rune and the mortal drama but now let's go back to the skill itself I guess not many people uh, notice that barrel of spikes reads it like this increases e damage of each barrel increases by 2000 200 of your tons damage it means it means the original unruined barrel of spikes that you can read here above it does uh, damage for the weapon damage so it uses weapon damage like any normal skill in the game so what happens is when the ruined bombs fall they make then uh, they make damage based on the weapon damage this one is the weapon damage Increased by 2,000, uh, by 200, sorry, 200, uh, by the uh, 200 of your tons damage. So basically, but we see one number, one number. This is because uh, the damage of through the weapon damage and the tons damage they add to each other, and we see one number. You can see here the total damage do done by 10 bombs, and it's basically this plus e e this and multiplied by 10. This is exactly this. The unruined 5 bombs, they do 2800 skill damage and it means that every bomb does 570% skill damage. And each tons bombs just add 200 of tons damage on top of it. The noble bomb bam damage and the tons bomb damage are being summarized and in game we see a number for one this bomb guys i will show you how uh, how it in the game so that you can actually see that it's very interest it's very interesting to see guys it's actually very interesting not many people notice that see there i am starting to cast my bombs here and it starts to drop It says reflected damage by the way. It's it's still it's all around the same. It's always the same, so it's easy to see what's reflected damage and what's not. So the first the first barrel drops guys, the first. See? That's the damage of one bomb. One bomb. And why these numbers are different? How do you think why these numbers are different? That's because that's because guys the the uh, the weapon damage it has uh, you know a roll and it has the weapon range every weapon has a weapon range and for example if I get this I tested the bombs with this setup as well see this inviolable inviolable faith it has weapon range and in this in this setup. The bombs can be slightly weak and slightly, you know, uh, slightly strong because we have the weapon range, and the the way the normal skill calculates the damage is it takes the weapon range and kind of adds a range number to it. And that's why we see the different number, like not like for every other normal skill in the game. That's why these numbers are slightly different, slightly different because. Uh, in this my testing setup, I have no weapon damage. Uh, I have no weapon, and the weapon damage, the basic, you know, the basic weapon damage in this game, it's very low. 
That's why this small number doesn't really have a big impact on the tones number. The tones number is so much bigger as you can see. But the but basically uh, these numbers are a little, a little, a little different. A little different. But we can see very closely the damage of one bomb. That one bomb. And as you can see here, the bomb also procs area damage. I will show you guys. See? This, this is the area damage. It's the area damage of the bomb. See? That's the 50% exactly. 50% exactly. And it's also an area damage here, guys. So an area damage. Bam! This is a reflected damage because this mob shoots at me. So all the bombs fall already. All the bombs fall already. Bam! See, that's the damage of one bomb. And 10 of such bombs fall. 10, 10 such bombs fall. And as you can see, it's 287, right? Let's go here, and it's exactly this. This is the damage of all 10 bombs that fall. I would like to also add, guys, that the spike burning uh, and consecration, they are dynamically updated damage based on buffs and debuffs for, uh, because they are you know, the damage over time skills and they calculate and update all the damage all the times. But Barrel of Spikes is different because it's a one one cast skill kind of one time one cast skill and it's just snapshots all buff and debuffs prior to casting like for example if you pop reflective skin after you cast barrel of spikes it will have no effect on the damage of bombs and i also have it recorded by the way i have it recorded as well see here i cast bombardment and my reflective skin is not on. Let's see. The bombs start to fall. And these are the same bombs that we saw earlier. That's the same amount of damage. Reflective skin is still off. Is still off. See the 10, the third bomb falls. Five. And here I pop my reflective skin here. Bam! I pop my reflective skin. But the damage is the same. This is the area damage, by the way. See, but the damage that hasn't changed. So basically, it hasn't changed because I casted the reflective skin later when I started casting the bombardment. But for consecration, is different. Consecration is different. It's. I also have it recorded, guys, here. It's very interesting to see. Over here, I casted Consecration here. My reflective skin is off, as you can see. Mob starts to come. Here's the first tick. The first, this, this guy starts to tick as well because they are close to the area of consecration as you can see uh, my reflective skin is still off still off guys here I pop my reflective skin here and as you can see conviction of the enemies is on fire so it's no buff at all but here look at this then uh, it got uh, it got 300 more tons to the pool and this and this damage is much bigger it's much bigger it's, it's the dots are much much bigger as you can see already so the consecration and and the spite barring they update the damage all the time I also have this recorded for, for the spike burning here guys it's very interesting you can see it here Here, bam! 
I have my consecration on. Consecration on. And you see, it's the full damage. It's the full damage of Spike Body because basically I, I had 300 more tons added to my pool. <laughs> so it looks like it's one full one full uh, second damage, but it's because I have added all this to my pool. See this? Uh, the, oh, it's already ended. Uh, already ended. The reflective skin ended, and here I started to see my basic damage, my basic, you know, uh, quarter tick, exactly what it should be. Um, uh, five hundred percent of my tone damage, but at a quarter of a tick, at a quarter of a tick. That's exactly. So basically, as you can see, I will show you once again. See this, this st st here. As you can see, the reflective skin is on. I start to run, and this is the full tick. See, the reflective skin is still on and mobs receive increased tons damage. And as it wears off, you see it almost wears off. Here, completely gone. The reflective skin buff is, is completely gone. And here goes, here goes the normal, the normal tick, the normal tick already. It's the unbuffed. The unbuff tick. So basically, the spike burning and uh, the consecration there update their damage all the time. And it doesn't matter when you cast reflective skin or any other skills, uh, the buffs uh, or debuffs. It doesn't matter. They all take it into consideration. So basically, it works like this. The damage over the time skills are very different. The only exception, the only exception to this is the convention of the elements ring guys this ring it dynamically updates all damage as it rotates and it also updates the damage of the bombs no matter when they fall but you already know that to maximize your bombs damage you need to drop them all in the physical phase and at the same time when the other buffs are on like reflective skin but i will show you how the bombs update their damage of, or, uh, guys it's also very interesting to see. I have it recorded here. Yeah, I'm starting to cast bombs here. See, I'm on lightning here. I'm lightning, so no buff. Bam. If bombs, the first bombs fall. The first bombs fall. This, uh, this is the unbuffed bomb. But I started casting them before, before the physical phase. See this, the bomb, this is like a weak bomb, the basic bomb. And here, the physical almost there, physical almost there. Now, that's the first physical bomb fail, guys, the first physical bomb. See, that's the physical bombs dropping already. So basically, I casted a uh, bombardment earlier. Uh, when I was on the lightning rotation of the conventional elements, but when as the bomb f fell, they start to update the damage, and when the physical rolled in, uh, already the stronger bombs kind of you now fell. And if I press my reflective skin before I pressed my bombardment skill, my bombs would have uh, would have done much more damage as well because the bombardment snapshots all the debuffs in debuffs before I cast the spell. The only exception is Convention of the Elements because it updates the damage dynamically. For every skill in this game, doesn't matter what skill it should be. So that's it for the skills, guys. I, I, I hope it's not you know, very complex and it's if it's very hard to understand, I suggest you to watch or you can watch it you know, several times to understand how the damage over time uh, works in this game. And uh, how uh, spike burning, consecration, and the bombardment battle of spikes works in this game, guys. Thanks for watching. And these were the most complex free parts of my big trance guide. And the other ones, they will be, be 
you know, gear standard, I will be talking about a most important, you know, a part of the gear, specifically about the heck, the Votoya Spiker, the Sanguinary Worm Braces, and will be much shorter videos where we will see the mechanics behind those gear gear pieces, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. I see. I hope to see you soon. Subscribe to my videos for more interesting shit and the more math talk and calculations and theory crafting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for uploading my videos on Diablo fans. Thanks for guys. Thanks very much. Thank you.